it is that time of the year in Goa when you see the cashew apples on a tree and you can't help but taste some of those. Oh, hey folks. Welcome to another video and I'm Jason here. Today I'm going to take you all through this plantation as you all can see around. A lot of cashew trees are here and I will be showing you all the process of urak and feni how it is prepared here in Goa. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. You all will have a fun time. I followed the boys up and down the hill as they used a stick with a nail attached to it and a bucket to collect the fallen cashew apples. The forest is vast and of course belongs to the forest department. Certain areas of the land are taken on lease by the interested villagers during the season and then they carry out the respective processes with the cashew apple in order to earn a decent amount of profit. The collected cashew apples are then brought to the workplace for their due processes. Here the fruit is separated from the nut. The fruit either gets converted into juice also known as nero or further to alcohol also known as urak or feni while the nut is sold separately in the market which can be roasted and consumed this definitely looks like a time consuming process but let's see where the cashew apples go next this lady's husband is here to share with us the process let's welcome him hello i'm hari naik gaonkar my am zambul bhat we produce cashew feni and the process goes like this for urak and cashew feni we bring the cashew apples and then empty them here the nut is separated from the seed after this the fruit is placed in this machine Later the juice that is extracted from this machine is collected in this area. The leftover fruit is then brought here, pressed and the juice is collected and kept in these barrels. After this, the juice collected earlier from the barrels is placed into these vessels and heated using wood and fire. It is filled up to this level. This is called morem in Konkani. It is made of wood and is sealed using soft mud. It does not come off. A rope is tied so that it gets enough support not to come off during the process. Gas is formed during the heating process. The gas goes out through this pipe. The gas cools into this water tank and forms into liquid. It is then collected into these cans over a period of time. This is the procedure of urak and cashew feni. Here is how the wet mud is applied and the vessel is sealed so that no gas escapes. Now an extra bonus for y'all who have made it this far. Let's see how urak is made. 
add 40 to 50 ml of ura. Add some salt to it, then add some lime juice and chili. Finally, add limka or Sprite. And that's how Urak drink is made. Cheers! Experiencing this whole process personally was delightful. Stay tuned to this channel for more such content. Until then, bye!